a speeding vehicle. Ten four. Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Copy that. Christ, you smell like hey, a pile what? of shit. Oh, what is that? Jesus, that stinks! Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ! Was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, 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 what happened with Luca? It's done. All right, how about our guys? You find them? Yeah, Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead, but balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh... Interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's whoa. bodyguards who hey, ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God.
In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me, we're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? 
You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family, but I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together, just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Fido Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests. Especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you did, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. Don't sit there mumbling and talking trash. If you want to have a ball, you gotta spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll Don't care whether you're young or old I'll let the good times roll
Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. 
We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today. Just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. You got uh, Okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Take my car. All right, I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, some. Pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together. Do you? Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel, park in the underground parking lot, and use the back entrance. Peter, <laughs> you know, what the fuck are you doing? This thing goes off. We're all dead. What do you got? An aversion to red lights? So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay! No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. Gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? the speed party. Sorry, oh, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other of a side. Speeding vehicle. Damn it, Vito, be careful! One more bump like that, they'll be scraping us off the damn sidewalk. Sorry. Won't happen again. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. All right, Vito and me will go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because you're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. 
So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here, so don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while, just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go. Move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilt something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, so I just thought how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon, and the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. 
So if you know what's good for you, you'll get to play spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. Ugh, please go away. All right, I'm sorry. That was rude of me. Darn right it was. Let me make it up to you. I don't think so. I insist. The mess? No. Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make it snappy. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, the... Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow. The blue. And the plus. And the plus. And uh, the red. And matching. The negative. Ne uh, the blue. And cross over here. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> hey, I told you to clean it all up. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. why not? The says, you really think I asked for a 12-inch beard? Cool, I wasn't talking to you. You're looking right at me, asking stupid questions. I'm not supposed to. That's Clementi. We could take him out right now. If we had a gun. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Here. This is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. Yeah, the hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Ah, come down and give me a fucking Shh, man. these guys. Fuck me. <clears throat> All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit, they... Okay, dude. Go, fucking dead! That's the fucking best you got! I won't want to get on your bad side. 
Back me up, Vito. <laughs> Back me up, Vito. You're fucking dead! That the fucking best you got! Takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us again. Ah, buildings like this got soundproof windows, and we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. Don't shoot, I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Okay, get on. We got work to do. Hey. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, we're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work! Uh, that 
That's it. Okay, got it. Take us up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> These assholes ain't gonna What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew? We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Shit. Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here! What a fucking mess. It felt like a fucking earth, but... What the fuck? Oh, shit! Fucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna fuck die for this! Get away, come on, Vito! Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it, bitches! Myself. I'm the best. You shoot like my sister. Take the other door, Vito. I got the right side. Me up, Vito. You shoot like my sister. Ah, oh, show you. Oh, shit. This way, Vito. You won't get through there. It's fucking over. Ah, fuck. The sprinklers are going off. <laughs> really? Because I thought it was raining. Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two... Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? Wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Shit, another one! I'm a
Watch it! Up there! You scared? That's as much as best we got! Oh, you're in trouble. Let's go, you guys! Come on, we gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. Back me up, Vito. All right, get to it. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. You gotta no, drive, all right? Get ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clement. He's in the black lift. Joe, I got eyes too. Yeah. Uh. Step on it, Vito. I'm trying, Joe. Oh. There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. <gasps> yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. If they split up, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. You're not a drive, all right? Just be oh, ready with is. the gun. Sh Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, Joe, oh. I got eyes too, you know? There goes one. Nice oh, job. Clemente's next. Trying, Joe. Yeah. yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. <laughs> It's over. Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. If they split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. <clears throat> Joe, fuck out. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. All right, there's two of them. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. You know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, yeah. Joe, I got eyes too, you know? You're fucking dead! <laughs> <laughs> Here goes one. Be careful, nice job. Peter. Clemente's next. <laughs> Step on it, Vito. I'm trying, Joe.
Meister! Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left him there. Okay, okay. what about Clemente? Done. All right. Hey. Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main small, thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Hey, Joe, Joe. Don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too. More than you think. But you knew the risks. You too. Hey. This was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. 